In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear people, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear religious sisters in your convents, my dear fathers in the parishes, it's nice once again to be united even through this media, all of us praying together to God our Father, all of us praying together, preparing ourselves to hear Jesus, hear God in the Word, preparing ourselves for a communion, spiritual communion, or really the Eucharist itself. I need to pray today in a special way uh, for all the caregivers for our coronavirus victims. We think of the doctors, the nurses, but I was thinking also the ward boys and others who are helping them. Pray for them too, that uh, they're exposed to the infection themselves and uh, doing so courageously. Pray for them that they are protected. We pray that God blesses them for their generosity, their commitment, and we pray also for all the efforts, all those trying to give relief to our patients. And begin this Eucharistic sacrifice, once again, conscious of God's presence among us, in your homes here, this little chapel, asking the Lord to touch our lives, to heal what needs to be healed, to make whole what needs to be made whole. And so humbly we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have grievously sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, may he forgive us our sins, and may he bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your peoples, we pray, O Lord, and in your goodness set us free from the bonds of the sins that we have committed in our weakness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Kindly sit. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear so many disparaging me, terror from every side. Denounce him, let us denounce him. All those who used to be my friends watched for my downfall. Perhaps he will be seduced into error. Then we will master him and take our revenge. But the Lord is at my side, a mighty hero. My opponents will stumble, mastered, confounded by their failure. Everlasting, unforgettable disgrace will be theirs. But you, Lord of hosts, you who probe with justice, who scrutinize the loins and heart, let me see the vengeance you will take on them, for I have committed my cause to you. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has delivered the soul of the needy from the hands of evil men. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the word of God. In my anguish, I called to the Lord, and he heard my voice. Together. In my anguish, I called to the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, Lord, my strength, my rock, my fortress, my savior. My God is the rock where I take refuge my shield, my mighty help, my stronghold. The Lord is worthy of all praise. When I call, 
I am saved from my foes. Response. In my anguish, I called to the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my anguish, I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. From his temple, he heard my voice. My cry came to his ears. Response. In my anguish, I called to the Lord, and he heard my voice. Kindly stand as we prepare to receive Jesus in the gospel. Glory to you, O Christ. You are the word of God. Repent, says the Lord, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. Glory to you, O Christ. You are the word of God. The Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, the Jews took up stones to stone Jesus. And Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from the Father. For which of these do you stone me? The Jews answered him, We stone you for no good work but for blasphemy. Because you, being a man, make yourself a God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, you are gods. If he called them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be nullified, do you say of him whom the Father consecrated and sent into the world, you are blaspheming because I said I am the son of God? If I am not doing the works of my Father, then do not believe me. But if I do them, even though you do not believe me, Believe the works, that you may know and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Again they tried to arrest him, but he escaped from their hands. He went away again, across the Jordan, to the place where John at first baptized, and there he remained. And many came to him and said, John did no sign. But everything that John said about this man was true. And many believed in him there. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus, yesterday, when reflecting on the gospel, I mentioned that we've got to make a commitment to Jesus. We've got to ask ourselves, who is Jesus for me? Is he just a leader, a teacher, a great inspirer? Or is he God? And that's all the difference for us to be his disciples. Jesus asks for a wholehearted commitment, no half ways. We must accept him as God or nothing at all. Today's gospel is a continuation of that, really. Jesus, once again, the Pharisees and scribes are arguing with him about who he is, what he is, and he said he's the son of God, and they find fault with him. And he says, you don't believe my words, but believe my works at least. Look at my works. And uh, really, Jesus had worked so many miracles. He had done so much good. He had consoled the weak, comforted the sorrowful, gave sight to the blind, helped the lame walk, 
and now he had even raised Lazarus from the dead and therefore believe in my works see what I've done and then you decide how could God allow a miracle work a miracle do all these good things and not and not really by that give a stamp of approval to Jesus what Jesus was saying what he was teaching what he was claiming my sisters and brothers as we are approaching the same journey is coming to an end you can hardly believe that next Friday will be Good Friday as we're coming to a this journey of Lent is coming to an end it's time once again to examine ourselves and to recommit ourselves to, uh, as disciples of Jesus and to commit yourselves and commit yourself and myself as disciples of Jesus we've got to decide who he is for us is he, as I said yesterday, just a teacher, an organizer, a prophet, or is he God? And Jesus says, look at the works, examine the works. Today as we pray, I hear you in your homes, reflect, sisters and brothers, on the works of Jesus in your life, the works of God in your life. Look at back at your life, your family, and see the number of times God has intervened. When you have prayed for something and got a healing. Many times when God has come and given you a blessing. Many times you felt the hand of God intervening in difficult, different situations. Imperceptibly. Much later you realized God was there. God helped me. That deepens our faith. That deepens our discipleship. That deepens our relationship with Jesus. Spend a few moments thinking of God's work in your life. Spend a few moments thinking of consistently God guiding you along a path. All of us see, and I've seen it in my life, God right straight and crooked lines you don't understand why certain things happen and all of a sudden everything works for his glory for his good the good of the church the good of people but now we have time because of this lockdown a little more time to reflect a little more time to be together a little more time to spend with the Lord a little more time for prayer and reflection spend time in thinking See the hand of God in the works that have happened in your life. See that Jesus is working in your life. See that he is calling you more and more to be his disciple. May this Lent really, this very special Lent of 2020, be a real opportunity for spiritual awakening for each one of us. All the families participating in Mass and all our families in this Archdiocese and all over the country. God bless you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God this water and wine we come to share in his divinity who humbled himself to share in our humanity blessed are you Lord God of all creation through your goodness we have this wine which we offer you fruit of the wine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink 
Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you pleased and receive this sacrifice which we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. O Lord, wash away my sins and cleanse me from my iniquity. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Father in heaven. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars and there to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we to give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, 
the auxiliaries and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co heirs to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, the all honor and glory is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray with faith and love and hope the prayer Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress as you wait the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. It's after the sign of peace. May Christ's peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May this meaning of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us to receive him. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you, that you should enter under my roof. roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment Thine. Lord Jesus, thank You for the blessings and graces You have given me through this spiritual communion.
Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord. May it always drive far from us all that would do us harm. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servants who seek the grace of your protection may be free from every evil and serve you in peace of mind. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass in it, let us go and live the gospel. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God bless you. Have a nice day. And we'll join each other again tomorrow morning. We pray now for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.